In a disappointing turn of events for the Philadelphia Flyers, the team suffered a 3-0 defeat against the Boston Bruins on Saturday, marking a tough end to their brief winning streak. The loss was compounded by the early exit of their number one goaltender, Samuel Ayrson, who left the game just 7.36 into the first period due to a lower body injury. This setback proved detrimental, as the Flyers struggled to regain their momentum and generate scoring opportunities throughout the match the Flyers entered the game on a high note, having secured consecutive victories for the first time this season and winning three of their last four games. However, the abrupt departure of Ayrson sent shockwaves through the squad. The Bruins capitalized quickly, taking a 1-0 lead less than six minutes after Urson's exit, and the Flyers trailed for the remainder of the contest, were struggling to really create some sustained offense, said Sean Couturier, highlighting the team's ongoing challenges in generating consistent scoring chances. We're getting chances, but a lot of one and donuts. We've got to find a way to get another gear here in our game. The Bruins, seeking revenge after being shut out by the Flyers just four days prior, took control of the game early. Jim Montgomery's squad had been on a rough stretch, having lost their previous two games by a combined score of 10-2. With Ersun sidelined, backup goalie Alexei Kolosov stepped in and made a commendable effort, stopping 20 of 22 shots he faced. However, the Flyers' defense faltered, allowing Boston to extend their lead with a second-period goal and sealing the game with an empty netter. Kolosov's performance is especially noteworthy considering he was uncertain to report to training camp just weeks earlier. Flyers head coach John Tortorella acknowledged Kalasov's character, stating, he has got some personality to his game. He fights. But if Urson's injury sidelines him for an extended period, the Flyers will need to rally around their young goalie offensively, the Flyers faced a frustrating afternoon. They only managed to get 20 shots on Bruins netminder Jonas Corposalo, who stopped everything thrown his way. Morgan Frost came close with a chance in close quarters, and Bobby Brink struck the iron, but the team failed to capitalize on scoring opportunities, continuing a concerning trend. Over their last three games, the Flyers have managed just four goals, with an average of 2.73 goals per game for the season, it's frustrating for everyone obviously, Frost commented on the team's struggles. It's hard to win games when you're only scoring one goal or two goals or none. The Flyers' scoring woes have left Tortorella searching for answers, especially from young players like Owen Tippett and Tyson Forster, who have struggled to find the back of the net this season. We have just had a tough time developing offense, he said. Meanwhile, the team took a moment before the game to honor the late Jay Greenberg, a Hockey Hall of Fame journalist, with a special dedication and unveiling of the Jay Greenberg press row photo collage. The tribute highlighted the Flyers' respect for the contributions of those in the hockey community, with both President of Hockey Operations Keith Jones and General Manager Danny Breer in attendance. As the Flyers move forward, the health of Ayrson and the ability to generate offense will be critical as they look to rebound from this defeat.